So quick recap of what this means. There's a difference between the deadline for filing the taxes and the deadline for paying the taxes. So if we're talking about tax year 2023, the IRS typically wants to get paid during the tax year, usually in the form of withholdings if you are an employee or in the form of estimated tax payments, say if you have a sole proprietor type of business, for example, and then the filing requirement is at April 15th, 2024, if you don't have any extensions. If you try not paying until April 15th, 2024, you will still get hit with the stick of penalties and interest. Remembering our goal here is not to get hit with the stick of uh, penalties and interest. That means that we want to basically withhold and pay throughout the year with withholdings or estimated tax payments, shoot for a bit of an overpayment to get a refund, not just because we like getting money from the IRS, a check from the IRS, if it's our own money, they're giving back to us, but because we're trying to avoid the penalties and interest. Okay, if you file after this date, you may have to pay interest and penalties. That's the stick we're trying to avoid. So see interest and penalties later. So if you were serving in or in support of the US Armed Forces in a designated combat zone or a con contingency operation, you may be able to file later. See publication three for details. So if you are in the military, uh, thank you for your service. If you're if you're in a designated combat zone, uh, that sounds like a dangerous situation. And the IRS is gracious enough to give you a little bit more time uh, to file your tax return in that case. So that's nice of them.